Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to make this beautiful uh, abstract line drawing art using Adobe Illustrator. Let's zoom in. You can choose, you can crop any section you want to use as any um, background uh, images for any design project. Object. So um, I will show you uh, step by step how to make this kind of a, a, a beautiful illustrator uh, vector line art drawing. Okay, now let's get started. Before we start, uh, please make sure your ruler unit is a point. So um, open the ruler by hitting Command R and then hold down the Control key, click on the ruler and make sure your unit is point. If you have an inch units for now, change it to point. Okay. Then open the stroke panel, choose your line tool, uh, make sure your stroke color is black and no fill color. And stroke weight I want to have 0 0.05 it's really really thin like a hairline okay then hold on the shift key and drag it so uh, we can have one vertical line maybe about uh, one and a half inch or two inches something like this it doesn't have to be very very super accurate still your line is selected switch your tool to a um, selection tool line is still selected, hit the return and we're going to move it horizontally 0 0.05 point and no vertical move so 0 and distance 0 0.05 and 0 angle so I'm please enter the same amount same value in each uh, field as I did then click on copy then it will duplicate this current select line to the right horizontally and the distance will be 0 0.05 point so that means it's going to be a really really close copy so it looks like just one line but actually there are two let me zoom in uh, it's kind of hard to see it but can you see that there are two lines. See, there are two lines. Okay. Then we made a copy. Still, your second line is the uh, the duplicated one is selected. Hold down the command key and keep pressing D, command D. Now you can see that the line is getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Actually, it's not getting thicker. We keep duplicating them. Copy and pasting, copy and pasting, copy and pasting. So keep pressing Command D until you have about um, about maybe quarter inch thickness. I think, yep, it's okay. So it looks like a one black bar, but it is not. This is a whole group of really really thin black lines. Now select all. I don't know how many copies I made. Then open the transparency panel, change the opacity value down to 50. Okay, so this is what I got. Now next, still my fill color is nothing, stroke color is black. I'm gonna draw one big oval. Then choose your direct selection tool. Once you click on the, um, the top anchor point, there are two handlers. Push this back to the center and the bottom one too. Okay. Then now switch tool to the um, uh, add anchor point tool. This one, the plus pen tool. Add a few anchor point. Then now with this direct selection tool, 
I'm going to select this the middle one on the left and push to the top upper and let me move this down and then let me I'm trying to make some kind of a, like a flame shapes flame or smoke I don't know how to call this but um, it is not kind of very accurate shape but also just something like this okay and select all Now it's time for meshing. Go to object menu, choose the envelope distort, make with top object, and see what happens. Isn't it cool? Since this is a vector drawing, once you zoom in, everything's still sharp. And then open brushes panel. Once you make this kind of uh, abstract line drawing, you can register this as a one brush stroke. Just drag it to the brush panel and select the art brush. OK. And OK. It is registered here. So now let me delete this and see how we can use it. Uh, just to set your fill color nothing, stroke color anything and draw for now I'm going to draw one kind of perfect circle and then I'm going to apply this new brush stroke we made as a stroke color choose it see isn't it cool okay and since this is the um, uh, brush stroke it is affected by various stroke wave thicker thicker and then maybe I can select one section of it and I can use it for some kind of a, as a kind of a abstract background image for my web pages or a banner or a poster design so let me try this uh, rectangular tool let me choose certain section I want to use, like this. Or any section is fine. And select both object and clipping mask and make it. See? So I can use this for posters or any other graphic design project as an abstract background. And since this is a vector, you can save it as an EPS file and export it to Photoshop and you can keep using it. So it's a Photoshop and Illustrator compatible. Okay, thank you.